Okay guys, we run out of battery again, but fortunately now, I'm actually charging it at this moment of time. I have my phone here, very nice iPhone 4S, you can see there. Uh, it is a really nice phone, it's not like the phone itself, but uh, yeah, my friend's trying to scout me down, but you know I'm doing this video, unfortunately for him. Uh, yeah, I just research it in quarters there because I've only made loads, it's only worth uh, $1.50, so not very much on Facebook status of any way, so. Okay, Google Earth. This is where the biggest farm is. That's my camera just shut off. Uh, I found some old predestinal really, not predestinal because that's uh, consecutive colours and numismatical. But um, some pretty old buttons say, yeah, 20th, 19th century circle uh, on the on the plough field, which is still rather deep, approximately seven inches, and that's brilliant depth for my um, 6.5 by 9 performance coil because that's what I found it with brilliantly took the NEL off because it might have some glitching issues and I might have to sell it off a bit uh, sell it off because my coil works anyway for dirt my you know for dirt so uh, guys we're just going to type in Hunnington because that's where it is Hunnington high zone not to mention the location because you know guys you're actually going to uh, go there no you probably won't please don't go there it would be so be sad that's just really sad, so I wouldn't recommend doing that. But guys, don't night hawk because it's just disgraceful to put this land on the land only. So yeah, let's just find it here if we can. Yeah, it's hard to do it when you're holding a camera. But guys, let's just find it. Okay. You know what? I actually can't find it, weirdly. Oh yes, there it is. Very nice. There's the 18th century house. Can I focus that? Yeah, guys, 18th century house. Get a pasture field. You can see all the cattle there. Uh, they're quite monsters, those. Um, yeah, they usually go up all the way up here to graze mostly on here. All the all, most of the time on here. Uh, sometimes on that field, and then it goes all the way around there to there. And this uh, Indian person, uh, no racism involved uh, to this, but uh, he lived there. He didn't really want us on that land because he thought it was his, which obviously it wasn't. It was the farmer's because we asked the farmer if it was his, and yes, he said yes, obviously. But uh, yeah, guys, as you can see there, the green pot there. Oh, that was when uh, it was well cropped in crop. Well, it might be in crop now because I haven't been there for several weeks. Uh, so, but, uh, yeah, guys, that's a big, l extremely large plough field. We have a bit of a field there. I believe that's pasture. And then it goes around here. There's a little pasture lining. And then, guys, I think we have all of that. That. Uh, that one there. And it goes all the way down onto that one. So he has quite a lot of land. And he has this huge uh, plough field there. So when that's ploughed, it's going to be almost double the size. Then I believe he actually, he might, he may own these two. This, I know that he owns this one. And then there's a small uh, lining area there where, that he owns. So this is three pasture fields there. So let's count uh, four fields there. Five, he might own those two, but I'll say five at the moment. Uh, six, seven, I believe. No, sorry, six, seven, eight, and then nine, and ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, uh, fourteen. 15, 16, because they're just little fields that he marks off, that he marks off, uh, yeah, it's actually car sales, that's what they, uh, host, so, car boot sales and that, oh uh, yes, this one here, has the car boot on it, I don't, I don't believe he owns that one, but, yeah, and he has a huge field that he keeps, uh, his family of bulls on, uh, male, female, and a child, so, yeah, that's quite a large field there. Just behind the house, so there could be the possibility for some Georgian coins, yeah. Uh, if the predecessors of the house um, own them, of course. But yeah, guys, that's uh, my first ever permission. My second ever permission was the uh, videos I've just been on when I should have seen when I found that 19.7 very nice uh, half silver six minutes. That was, that was absolutely brilliant. Uh, two Georgian coins I also found on that day, and uh, a buckle. 
as I have mentioned on that video, but it, was, it wasn't a very ornate one, it's open like early 20th century, something like that. But yeah, guys, uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, next video will be at this farm, or maybe the one after. But all of these videos hopefully will be compiled. If they're not, then this might not be on YouTube. If it is now, say yes in the comment, please. Comment section. But yeah, guys, uh, I'll be going to a Clodhopper dig at Broadheath on the 5th of October, which I'm very much so looking forward to. That's going to be in three days on the Sunday. So Sunday the 5th. I'm extremely looking forward to that for my ace because, you know, I may or may not find a hammered coin. Maybe possibly even a Roman. A horde would be nice. Well, a gold coin, obviously. That would be brilliant because I'd be able to sell it off to buy Deus, the next few days or something. An e track, Mine Lab e track, or a Mine Lab CTX 30 The brilliant treasure hunting machine. But to be perfectly honest, guys, I need to say this. The CTX isn't actually as good as a Deus or Deep Tech machines like the Deep Tech Gold, te uh, Deep Tech Vista Gold. Deep Tech Vista uh, Smart, which are absolutely brilliant depth and uh, iron discrimination machines. So really can discriminate iron with coins and get the coin right directly underneath the large piece of metal, which is absolutely unrealistic, to be perfectly honest. And uh, yeah, guys, I must say the CTX isn't as good as the Deus because the Deus can pick targets out of large iron infested areas, whereas the CTX knee track struggles in contaminated areas like so. But yeah, guys, uh, Claude Pedig hoping to find something. And uh, now, guys, if if you're a Claude Hopper, well, if you're a member of the Clods and you're watching this and you go there, then I'll see you there, guys. But uh, yeah, this eventually will be past tense when this video is uploaded, obviously. But yes, guys, uh, have a very nice day, and I'll see you at the Claude Hopper Dig in a bit.